Welcome to this episode of the Harpreet Singh Show. Today, we are going to talk about the segment of April Lewis. This is BC representative of CAF Day, a new vision of aging for Canada. This is a question that the people of the country have been working on the aging of the government and the government has been working on the government. And many of the benefits of the government have been working on the government. Let's talk about April. Welcome to the program. Thank you. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you. So what is this CAF institution and what is this new vision for Canada? You know? Well, CARP used to be called um, the Canadian Association of Retired Persons. Mm -hmm. but, and it was formed in 1984, but it was taken over by Moses Zimmer, who right. is the owner of Joy TV 10 mm -hmm. and, and many other uh, television programs. And he took it over and rebranded it, a new vision of aging for Canada. Right. Because the way we're aging has changed. Mm -hmm. We're living longer, we're living better. Right. And back in the old days, we would retire. And then a few years later, we'd be dead. Right. But nowadays, we're not retiring, mm -hmm. or we're choosing to retire, and we re we're reinventing ourselves. Right. So the R doesn't stand for retirement. It stands for reinvention, okay. revitalization, <laughs> rejuvenation. Wonderful. So with this uh, new aging concept, which has come over because of the technological advancement, so more and more challenges are being faced by the people. So if you can take us and let us know, because being the BC representative for this organization, what kind of challenges are the people now facing, especially the elders? Well, I think the most important thing is, uh, obviously, I'm a boomer, which mm -hmm. Moses has uh, called, he's coined us as Zoomers. Right. Um, we boomers are, are the ones that are used to sort of having everything, part of the me generation. Mm -hmm. Anyone who knows, who grew up in the 80s and 70s, you know, knows that. But we Zoomers are still looking after our grown-up adult children. We're still helping them with their education or they're coming back home. Right. We're still looking after our parents, our mm -hmm. elders. So we're very intergenerational. We're not just the me generation. We care about all generations. Right. Because for whatever changes there are for the older or senior population in Canada, mm -hmm. there's going to be a compensatory change for the, for the youngers. Right. So the most important thing that we do at CARP is we need to get the word out because we are advocating for the quality of life as we all age. Right. It's not just you and me, it's mm -hmm. everyone. Right. So the number one thing of CARP is the A of CARP, which stands for advocacy. Okay. Advo uh, advocating for issues that are important to Canadians mm -hmm. as we age, right. such as Financial security. Okay. Are we going to outlive our money? The mm -hmm. biggest fear we have. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Healthcare access. Mm -hmm. um, ending elder abuse. That right. is one of the challenges we have in our society today. Mm -hmm. Elder abuse, which is very insidious and silent. Right. It's not just physical abuse, it's financial abuse. It comes in all forms. Right. So Social isolation. We're seeing about a quarter of Canadians that are living alone, mm -hmm. not always by choice. So right. social isolation is something that we have to be concerned about because the literature and the research shows right. that social interaction, social stimulation is important mm -hmm. to good physical, mental and spiritual health. Right. So CARP can get the word out to implore Canadians to join us. Right. We're not just, we're, I'm not selling widgets, mm -hmm. I'm selling me, I'm selling the concept. I'm right. a typical person, I had a career in healthcare, I mm -hmm. was laid off, right. I never thought at my age I would be divorced mm -hmm. and unemployed, right. but there it is. Mm -hmm. So you learn to reinvent yourself. Right. So I'm passionate about CARP mm -hmm. because collectively we have power. Right. Not only do we have consumer power, mm -hmm. we're the ones that purchase, right. We have the power to change the way government policy is. Right. We're the ones who vote. Mm -hmm. Seventy percent of Zoomers and seniors are the ones who vote. Right. So politicians, you better pay attention to us. Mm -hmm. We're not going away. Right. So we're urging, as Moses calls it, a march to a million. Mm -hmm. We're urging people to join CARP because right. collectively we have power. Right. When Moses took over CARP, we had 14 volunteer chapters across Canada. Okay. We now have 56. Wow. 
and we're, we're right in the midst now of, of having a conversation about starting a South Asian chapter, right? about starting a, a pink chapter mm -hmm. for uh, gays, lesbians, and w we have eight chapters right now in British Columbia, Right. and part of my job is to uh, get the word out, get new members, Wonderful. and support. Well, that's great. So as you said, advocacy is one of the major targets, what yes. you are doing, and apart from this, why do you think there is a need for such kind of organizations to advocate for their issues and challenges so that the government listens to them? Absolutely. Not just the government, but mm -hmm. the marketplace, because right. we are the largest consumers. Right, as you said. So when Moses started Much Music 40 mm -hmm. years ago, he knew that youth were important. Right. And he said, 40 years later, he mm -hmm. says, we're older, but we're still important. So not the, the uh, advertisers have to pay attention to us, but the politicians. Because uh -huh. Mr. Politician, if you don't keep us happy as we age, right. guess what? You'll be out of a job. <laughs> You'll be out of a job. Very true. But apart from advocacy, there's all the wonderful benefits of joining CARP, the okay. B of CARP. Uh -huh. Benefits, all the savings that you can have, and they're all in um, on, on our CARP website okay. and in our wonderful Zoomer magazine. Okay. The C stands for community, a sense mm -hmm. of belonging, right. a sense that you're going to do something. Mm -hmm. And with the CARP membership, which I'm offering at a reduced price, by the way, it right. includes nine issues of the fabulous Zoomer magazine, mm -hmm. which is finally a magazine that actually speaks to us. Right. A magazine that talks about issues that are important to me right. as I age. Right. So it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. Great. So April, as you said, and again my question is that uh, why is a need for such kind of organizations and what over the years since the time CARP has been functioning uh, how has it had an impact on the governments and also on the consumer market as you've said okay well that's a really good question if I could just give an example for mm -hmm. example last year CARP had the hands off the OAS campaign right Mr. Harper uh, said that now you have to be 67 years old to get the old age pension right so what has CARP done with their hands off o old age pension they have been in the faces of government they mm -hmm. have D they've done our online poll and gone to all government and said, look at this is what our CARP members think. Right. We don't think it's right. Mm -hmm. Now I may be okay, you may be okay, but there were almost, there are over 300,000 Canadians right. over the age of 65 who live in poverty. 70% right. of them are women. Mm -hmm. So the, the reason it's so important to join CARP is to join in having a collective voice to, sh to hold the government accountable. Right. We're not going away. <laughs> now that's just one example. Right. The other, we're not saving enough for our retirement. Right. A third of Canadians have no nothing so saved up for the retirement. So kind of creating awareness as well as advocating for the rights of the elders is what is CARP is doing. At rights for all Canadians. We right. care about our elders mm -hmm. who have built this country. We care about our youth who are going to inherit this country. Right. So collectively, we have to have a voice. We're not just here make, taking up space. Right. We're sh we're holding governments and all political parties accountable. accountable. We're nonpartisan. Right. Great. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you very much for this information which you have given today. And as you have said about the South Asian chapter, definitely these kind of things uh, need to go into various communities so that we can all unite and raise our voices for the goodness of the people. And thank come you to the Vancouver Zoomer Show, February 23rd, 24th. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. So, I just wish you this is a good thing. The purpose of the CARP is the purpose of the advocacy and benefits of the CARP. जेडे मुद्दे एल्डर्स देने अते उस तो लावा यंगस्टर्स दे वो सारे अनु कलेक्टिवली सरकारों तक पहुंचाना अते उन अथॉरिटी तक पहुंचाना जेडे के मैटर कर दिया ने आज इंडिविजुअली जेकर ऐसी कोई आवाज उठाने आज ओ पामे एजुकेशन दा मसला होए या सेहत संबंधी होए तो शायद साड़ी नहीं सुनी जाएगी लेकिन कलेक्टिवली ऐसी अपने मसले अनु के ले जा सकने आ तो जरूर उस ते उत्ते जड़ी में अथॉरिटीज होंदियां हैं वो सुनदियां भी नहीं